New Zealand's marine environment is massive. It's more than 15 times the size of our land. So life in the underwater world still holds plenty of surprises, even for our scientists. Today, we're at the Kapiti Marine Reserve. It's one of several sites that are part of a collaborative research and monitoring program supported by Air New Zealand. At this site, we're collaborating with Greater Wellington Regional Council. I'm here with Dr. Megan Oliver, coastal scientist for Greater Wellington. G'day, Megan. Hi. Megan, tell me a little bit about the work you guys are doing to monitor the intertidal zone here. We have been uh, wandering along these shores at low tide using instruments if you can call it that, um, <laughs> such as this quadrat, and it's put down on the rocky shore and we can count the organisms uh, that live in this 0.25 square metre quadrat. And the kinds of organisms that live in the intertidal zone give you some indication of the health of that environment and what sort of pressures they might be under from say land-based or marine-based activities. Let's talk a little bit about the human-induced pressures mm -hmm. and maybe what we can do to tidy up our ocean. Right, well, you know, pretty much everything we do on land at some point impacts the coastal environment. Um, perhaps the biggest one is stormwater. People will be really familiar with their drains that are in the streets. All of that water enters the stormwater network and it flows straight into our rivers and coasts untreated. So stormwater is one of the biggest uh, things that people can influence very easily just by managing their own activities on their own property, such as not washing brushes, your paint brushes in the gutter. Wash your car, ideally at a car wash or a self cleaning station or wash your car on the lawn. Right, because when you're washing it on the road, straight down the drain. That's right and with it goes uh, not only detergent but copper from your brake pads, zinc from your tyres and also uh, grease and oils from you know, burnt petrol. All of those things are really toxic to our freshwater marine organisms. 